Hi, welcome back to Rider's Block. I'm Ali, and today I have a double unboxing. So the first box I have is the June Alcrate box, and then the second box is the July Alcrate Junior. I have already opened both of these because, as normal, I have no self-control. Because I've already opened both of them, I do already know that I actually like both of them. So the Alcrate YA box was, the theme was, go your own way. The first item I saw in the box was this box, which is part of the Reading Through the Seasons drink quest collection they're doing at the moment. Last time they had a spring tumbler, and this time it was a summer thermal bottle that says, Summer was a book of hope. This is actually really good, I've already used it. And like when I made a drink at 7am, by the time it was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon when I went to actually drink it, it was still boiling hot. I'm pretty sure because it's just a summer themed thing, it doesn't, it's not based on a particular book, it's just summer themed. Oh wait, no. The quote from it is of, is from Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. The next thing was also kind of lunch themed, and it was a lunch box bag thing, which has, looks more autumnal theming. Yeah, it says it's a lunch tote bag with like deers and mountains on the side. It's based off of the Throne of Glass. It's got a Velcro seal to it. And then with the cold inlining for it. This would be, this is going to be really handy for like going to work and whatnot. So that I'm definitely going to be getting use out of this one. The next thing that came in was in this little velvet pouch. And it's by Ink and Iron Designs. And it is a fictional souvenir coin based on a fable wayfinder coin. One side says smooth sailing, the other says a rough sea. It says trade council of the narrows, port of Cyros, five coppers. So you can either lose it as a decorative piece or as a decision making coin for whenever you're feeling indecisive about your next move. Then we had the pin of this month, which as all the pins for this year have been, this is by Icy Designs. At first I thought it was a sun, but apparently it's just supposed to be a ruby with a snake around it. It says you can be more than what the stars wish for. And this is of course based off of this month's book, as all of the pins for every month are. The next item was a foiled art print based on Strange the Dreamer. So it's just got like foiled, it's got the two char main characters and then it's got like foiled books and moths and butterflies. There's some little text that you can't actually read except from the first word that says weep. I do like it a lot. I have not actually read that series yet, but I do have it here. Here. <laughs> we also got a promotional bookmark for Elizabeth Lim's next book, The Six Crimson Cranes. She's on the shape of a feather with the main character on the side. It's kind of in the same way they did for her last book, which was Spin the Dawn. They gave us a bookmark that's similar to this. The last item is probably the one I don't like. I feel like it's a bit too big. It came in another velvet pouch and it is an enamel bottle opener in the shape of a giant key. And that's why I mean that it's too big, like there is no need for it to be this ginormous. That part is a bottle opener, just that. It is based off of the Starless Sea. It says no story ever truly ends as long as it is told. And it is also a magnet so it can go on your fridge. And that was all of the islands that were in this box. So the book was Sisters of the Snake by Serena and Sasha Nanua? Nanua? I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. It's about sisters and it's written by sisters. This is an exclusive cover. The original cover is yellow. It does have a foiled underneath cover and it also has an exclusive reversible dust jacket. As far as I'm aware, this is based off of Indian mythology. And as with all of our great books, it is signed by the authors. Princess Rani has heard the whispers, a snake princess they call her. A girl with fangs for teeth. Her people fear her, yet her father doesn't believe her capable of ruling. Rhea is the quickest thief this side of the Ra. Bar River. That's why she's still alive. But when she's constricted into the looming war, she knows she has to be quicker than ever before to elude the royal army's grasp. These two lives collide, turning everything upside down, because Rhea and Rani, orphan and princess, are unmistakably identical. Ideal is struck. Both can get what they want if they switch places for less than one moon's time. But danger lurks in both worlds and the two are thrust into a race to unravel the mystery, mysterious prophecy and locate the long lost mythical object. To save their home, the thief and the royal must work together or watch it all fall into ruin. So I have heard it's based on Indian mythology but it also sounds like a retelling of Prince and the Pauper. So next month's theme is Potions of Poison um, and it's going to have an illustrated kitchen item. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the book that's by the author who did Cinderella is Dead. So the Owl Crate Junior July box 
was Creativity Conquers All. So that's really the reason why I got this box because I am an artist so it was interesting to see how they would do that for a kid's perspective. And overall, again, I really liked everything in this box. It's also very high quality. I think there's only one item that I didn't like and that's even though it's an item I would normally like, it's only because it's a pattern that I'm not fond of. And that was washi tape. So as I said, washi tape is something I do use in like scrapbook and stuff, but it's just this particular design I'm not a fan of. Also came with the monthly sticker of like a dragon and a little girl and her cat. The first main item was this and it is a fabric art supplies folder with a lovely painting on the back. So it just rolls up like that and then you can tie it up. So as I said, this is I am an artist, so this will obviously be very useful for me. And it is just a very lovely image on the back and it is very well made as well. The next thing was a little notebook of water strength paper that says on the front, you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. And so it is very thick, like 300 GSM water strength paper. And normally these kind of notebooks are quite expensive in New Zealand. So having one in this kind of box is very useful and very, you're definitely getting your money's worth. The next item was also another very high quality item. And it says on the box, just make a mark and see where it takes you. And it is a set of very highly pigmented watercolor paints, as well as a water reservoir paintbrush. So the water goes in here, so then you don't have to keep dunking your pan, you can just squeeze it as you need. A lovely little set of watercolour paints with half pans with 10 different colours. And the way half pan for watercolours work is you can just refill these as you use them. So this isn't an item, you, once you finish it, you have to throw it away. You can reuse it and refill it as you need. The last item was a bookmark that says, Writing stories is a kind of magic too. And it has some like griffins and dragons and stuff with people writing them and reading books. So as I said, all these items that are in this box this month have all been very expensive, very high quality art items. Like this would have cost a lot to make and it's also very handy and useful. Pretty much every artist would need one. Again, watercolour paper is very expensive and these kind of paints are also very expensive and these are very highly pigmented, are very good quality ones. Like this alone, if you brought this kind of thing from the shops, would have cost about the same price as the whole box itself. And you're not even getting book and the other things. So you're definitely getting more than your money's worth from this month's box. The book for this month is, is Kiki Kalera Breaks a Kingdom by Sangu Mandana. And so as with the other ones, it has the author letter inside and it had a book plate instead of being signed in the book. And so this book is about a little girl who likes to write stories and fairy tales and draw lots of these fantastical pictures and whatnot. And then one day she ends up falling into her sketchbook and into the world of her artwork. And when she's in this world, she discovers that all her characters and want have come to life, including the band of rebels who risk their life to save their kingdom and the evil god who is bent on destruction. But as the creator of this world, it's her responsibility to save them and also save her own world. And the only real weapon she has at her disposal is her imagination and ability to create more fantastical and better weapons and defenses for them. So that was everything that was in these past few months boxes. As I said, I've enjoyed and liked everything that's in these boxes this month. I've been very pleased. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to check out these books, there'll be a link in the description to Book Depository where if you make a purchase, we'll get 5% commission. There'll also be links to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our website. And we'll see you next week with a video from Chris.